Scientology held a ribbon-cutting ceremony for a couple of their properties in Clearwater, Florida. You can see Scientologists and Sea Org members walking toward the West Coast building there at the end of the block. I guess uh, this is how you can see me with two pair of glasses on. I tried having two cameras on at the same time. I had my small camera on a monopod, and I was also trying to stream the event live through Periscope on my cell phone. And you can see that the uh, cell phone camera here is pretty shaky, so I apologize for that, but at least we'll get you to the scene here. The intent was to have two cameras rolling at all times, but I found out that both of them would cut out from time to time, like that. Now take a look at this guy who's going to come racing across the street to talk to me. Yeah, that guy. He pretended to be just a casual citizen asking questions about the event. And he stuck right by my side the entire time. Hey, Antonio. What else is happening? Nothing much else that I know of. Why are there so many people here? Well, because Scientology um, tells everybody to attend the event. They've got a couple thousand Sea Org members here, so they bus them in for that. And do they own this whole block? Now they do, yeah. Well, no, not the entire block. Uh, um, but these two buildings are theirs. Do they pay taxes? Not, uh, not on most of the properties. Excuse they me. own this right here, though? Yeah. This is, their, talk to me. this is their front group for the, uh, their attack on psychiatry. The Citizens Commission on Human Rights. Okay, I didn't mean to kick you off the sidewalks. Okay, well let's stop right here. This is the unhappy Osa lady who tried to prevent me from walking down the sidewalk at the last Scientology event. So are you just going to stay there so that I can't walk down the street? You're the one that came toward me. You know that you're not allowed to come within 10 feet of an individual that you know is a Scientologist. I had no idea you were a Scientologist until you said you 10 feet. You are kidding. You What's that? Kidding. I'm not kidding. What, what about you, says Scientologist? Today she's surrounded by a bunch of Clearwater police officers, but none of them are allowing her to stop me from walking freely down the street. But here's something that I found really amazing. Scientology was trying very hard to use that 10-foot rule. Before parking, I did a drive around the entire event, and on Drew Street, I saw all of these people lined up down the block, standing a few feet away from one another. Hello, officers. It wasn't like, hey, Harry, let's stop and watch this thing together. It was all individuals, almost uniformly spaced apart. Everybody seemed to have been stationed precisely so that it would be impossible for me to not be within 10 feet of them. Unfortunately, I wasn't shooting any video as I drove past Drew Street, but you'll be able to see that here at the end of Fort Harrison Street. It's their attempt to, to try to thwart me from... Uh shooting any video here. Hi guys. It must be really annoying to be forced to stand out here all day today just to prevent me from shooting a little video. Just a private citizen. Oh, and why are you here today? Community service. Oh, who are you going to serve? State of Florida. I see. Okay, so you're not just a disinterested uh, person on the street. Uh, comes and goes. I, I so you've got a what an injunction wrapped up inside the uh, little flyer here? No, it's just your newspaper. It's a Clearwater Beacon. Very nice. All right. Well, I've got a police officer approaching me here. Apparently, they're going to try to get rid of me. Well, let's see what they have to say. Hello. Everything okay? Yeah. Right. The day before, Tony Ortega had asked me to stop by and check out the preparations for the event. I met a young Sea Org gal who told me that the event was starting at 1 p.m. After Tony posted that time, Scientology decided to move the event up, so when I arrived a little bit early, I actually missed the entire event. Well, you, didn't you say you were here to serve process? I'm just messing with you. P.I. Your P.I. Okay. And why, uh... You already knew that, though. Well, not necessarily. Well, I, I... No, I don't. I thought you were messing with me. No. No, who are you? I work at a... For PI, for the church. Okay, what's your name? Tom Brackmano. 
Okay. Is it a lucrative position? Pays the bills. I imagine it does. You know, the, the two PIs that were uh, following uh, David Miscavige's uh, father for a couple of years after he escaped from Scientology, they were paid $10,000 a week just to watch an old guy go to the store and, and tinker around. So it, it can be a really how, terrific... How much? 10000 10,000 a week. A week? Yeah. You ought to ask for a raise. Oh, where do I sign up for that? I know. Doesn't uh, doesn't matter how skeevy the job is. Let's get that money. Because you can see clearly I'm a threat here. Okay. So we got uh, officers across the street watching me. Got Antonio. I've got my own PI here. Got people uh, all around the uh, the block here. I don't mean to be rude. No, Tom. I understand that you're doing a job and you're you're not being as paid as well as those guys following Miscavige's father. But then again, I'm not as worthy as Miscavige's father. I've never met the guy. Well, I've never met any of them. Any of the Miscavige's. That would be. Uh, are you familiar though with uh, the Miscavige family? Maybe not having you know, met them. Do you know anything Canada. about Scientology and the? Uh, they just vague, vaguely. Vaguely. So you're not even interested in in looking into what they do and why somebody would. Well, I got my own. Are you worried about them? I'm a, I got my own deal, Christianity and whatnot. So I don't pay okay. attention to what other people do. Well, that's fine. I mean, you certainly don't need to worry about what they believe, even though you know there's tape out there of L. Ron Hubbard saying. There was no Christ. Some madmen 2,000 years ago stumbled upon part of L. Ron Hubbard's tech and misinterpreted the man on the cross. Uh, so Christianity and all these other religions, they're an alien implant from uh, millions of years ago. Uh, but when Scientology meets you on the street and says, Oh, you're Christian? Perfectly compatible. Later you find out that it's not compatible at all. And in fact, they they would call it an other practice once other practice once you get in. And they would uh, insist that you stop practicing Christianity. Well, does that go for the people that are the public? What they call the public? Or? Is that open? What do you mean? That philosophy where... Or... Yeah, you can go online. You can hear the, the tape in L. Ron Hubbard's own voice. You can read the... Uh, the lectures and the and the uh, writings that tell you about it, but they don't tell the public that. Oh. But because people have spoken out, um, all this information is out there. Yeah, I just never, you know, like I've worked for different organizations. I worked for the Catholic Church, mm -hmm. the, Jew the Jewish synagogue down there on Belcher, and I don't get into any of the uh, any all ideology. I stay neutral and just well I say neutral on the uh, on the uh, mythology as well it's not that that uh, uh, I'm worried about it's it's the lies it's the fraud it's the uh, it's the abuses that are built into Scientology like disconnection where um, where families are torn apart because someone decides well they don't exactly believe in this anymore and they're forced to uh, lose all contact with their wives or husbands or family or, you know, kids. It's uh, pretty sad. And that they do that against their will? Um, it's, it's, it's ordered by them. You can hear some um, hidden recordings from, like, their last spokesperson, Tommy Davis, who was the PR guy. Um, he was forcibly demanding that a family disconnect um, or or keep their mouth shut or, or their whole family would disconnect from them. Um, they say it's entirely voluntar uh, uh, voluntary, but um, you know, you, you have to toe the line or you, you face uh, losing all your loved ones, all your friends, perhaps all your co-workers who are Scientologists, so you get ostracized. 
I don't know anything about all that because I've been there. Of course you do, because you don't care. About something like that. But I've been working there for six months and I just don't see it. So I don't know if that's because, sure. you know. Sure. Well, um, it's because you're not uh, you're not looking. Um, you don't see the upper level materials, for example, because they don't allow you to see it. Um, yeah, I, you I, have I, to be indoctrinated slowly to gain more and more uh, knowledge. Um, so you see what they, they want you to see. And you see bright, cheery people who are being worked 80 to 100 or more hours a week for 50 bucks. You see all these people in Sea Org uniforms. They sign a billion-year contract. And um, they get paid peanuts. Um, and if they decide a few years later that they can't take the abuse anymore, they can't take being put in the rehabilitation, rehabilitation project force, um, uh, that they, you know, that they got to leave. And if they do that, if they leave the Sea Org and break their billion-year contract, then Scientology hits them with a huge freeloader debt. They'll give you a bill for a couple hundred thousand dollars for the food you ate and the and the. The room you shared in a communal birthing outfit, and for the courses you, you took, even though you've been slaving away for them for fifty bucks a week, but you don't see that because you're not looking, no, and they don't want you to see that. I, I don't know. I didn't know anything. I know, wow. and it makes it makes it a little easier to take their money. But again, I'm sure that knowing that now wouldn't stop you at all. You're just doing your job. But there's uh, there's plenty of people being hurt by Scientology, being defrauded by Scientology. You know, the one thing I didn't get, because I, I hear some of the anti-rhetoric, but so many, and it's been out there for many years. Mm -hmm. Why do so many people keep jumping onto the ship? Not many staff. people do. Most of the staff now are usually kids of longtime Scientologists. They recruit them young into the Sea Org. I've interviewed people who have been as young as, as 12 who have uh, who have been forced into the Sea Org by their parents. Or sometimes they say, oh, yes, I definitely want to be a part of this. Um, and they find that they're not getting a good education. There's like w one guy who became the head of security uh, um, out at their hidden desert compound. Uh, he told me that his mom joined the Sea Org when he was 12 and he was put into the Sea Org and he spent most of his time building e-meters which are these devices Scientology use in their confessionals and he wasn't getting an education he was working for peanuts as a 12 year old building e-meters. Is he still with them? No he left a few years ago he's uh, he's one of the many people who have spoken out if you're not willing to read any of the books or watch any of the TV shows that have won like I said, it depends uh, on Oscars and source. Emmys, and, and uh, if you're not interested in looking at the other side, well, then there's no help. And and I don't expect you to. I mean, uh, this is your job. You're doing your job. You kept me busy. Well, uh, that goes for anything, not just this, this issue. Right. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, again, it's just amazing the lengths they went to to be on high alert for me. I assume you were sent out here specifically to handle me. Yeah, if I bumped into you. Uh huh. Well, it's a good thing you did. You were well, waiting right there. You know, listen, you gave me some information I wasn't aware of. I gave you some information you probably won't look into. Do you think you would? Do you think you'd go read some I, articles? Do you think you'd go and I read interviews with. It. It has to be. How about the render? Uh, they've both given interviews. Um, They've both spilled the beans on on what's been happening. Um, so you might want to look it, into some of the interviews with them. Okay. Check out TonyOrtega.org. TonyOrtega.org. He's a former editor of the Village Voice, and he um, he has a, a blog that breaks stories about Scientology every day. All right, well, it's been fun. I'm going to walk this way. All right. No sense in... I'm not necessarily following you, but...
would be nice, but I'm okay. Where are you getting the water? Scientology would give me a water? Then definitely, yes. Get a water for me. Tell them it's for me. See if they'll, see if they'll give you one. What? They didn't give, give you a soda for me? Or a water? Sorry, man. See, they tell them it's for me. See how, how insane the group is? They're working to better humanity, apparently, and they can't even do a hot sweaty guy a glass of water. CCHR. And a pizza place. Hi, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. Uh, can I get a slice of pizza? Yeah. Oh, nice. Hello. Folding up the model pot. So, once again, I did not get. Um, I did not get the video I was hoping for, but at least I got to see the lengths that they'll go to. Once again, just to provide, try to prevent me from getting a little footage of David Miscavige. We've got, we've got uh, Scientology security in here, and they went back to talk to the manager for some reason. Yes. Sorry, just ran out of pizza. You ran out of pizza? I'm sorry, yes. Oh my God, We sold yeah. four pizza. At 1.33 in the afternoon? How are you going to survive the rest of the sorry day? Sorry about that. I see. Uh, did it have anything to do with the Scientologist security guard who came Absolutely in here? Absolutely no. Uh, no. Oh, okay. Well, that, that makes sense. Okay. It's much more believable that you ran out of pizza <laughs> okay. as soon as I walked through the door. Yes. Or actually, as soon as the security guard walked through the door. Sorry about that. I can, I can wait till you make some more pizza. It's fine. Really? You yes. don't want my business? <laughs> it's okay. So we just, yes. Well, uh, could I get a glass of water? Absolutely. All right. But I don't understand what is all this. Oh, I was just filming the event uh, across the street here. Oh, okay. If you want to wait here, I'll give you the glass of water. Oh, really? I can't, second, I can't just sit second. down and I'll, I'll pay for it. I'll pay for a soda if you want. Huh. Hi. So the citizens of Clearwater, just an alert, they've run out of pizza here at 1.30 in the afternoon. Okay. Thank you. Why, why are you doing it? You know, I don't understand all this. Well, uh, you know, it's because Scientology told you not to serve me a piece no, of pizza. They, no, absolutely no, not. You just happened to run out of pizza. Yes. The moment that um, okay. that they came in and said, don't serve this guy. Not at all. All right. All right. So what is the truth then? What is the truth? You got your glass of water? All right. Well, I, okay, I don't cool. want to take your glass. Oh, look. So, Do you want a plastic? You want to take it with you? All right, sure. It's an interesting way of doing business. What else do you have? If you want to have pizza, I'd be happy to get something else. You have some lasagna, maybe? But you don't have anything that's available for sale right now. It's delicious water, thank you very much. Absolute water. Mm. You can have it for free. That's awfully nice Absolutely. of you. Absolutely. Yes. You're a good guy. Uh, yeah, aren't you? Uh, All right. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye. Absolutely. Ciao, ciao. So, guys, I don't know if you like pizza, but they just ran out at 1.33 this afternoon. They did what? They ran out of pizza next door. Really? That's their main thing. It's a pizzeria. And, You're uh... Better prepared today. Yeah, well, I've, I've, yeah, I feel very sorry for the, the business because that's your main job is to sell pizza. I don't know if it had anything to do with one of the Scientology guards stopping in there saying, don't sell this guy a slice of pizza. Make one? I, I, 
I don't know if it had anything to do with the fact that one of the Scientology guards stepped in there as the guy said, yes, I'll go get you a piece of pizza. And after talking to the Scientology uh, guard, the owner said, ran out of pizza. Well, Wacky way to do business, isn't it? I would hope and trust that would be the case. It is. Uh, we can go talk to him if you like. You know it would be fun? Order a slice of pizza. See if he's got some. Not hungry. Well, I, uh, I said I'll take lasagna, but he didn't, didn't seem to have anything uh, in store today. Very odd, don't you think? Yeah. Hmm. Funny how Scientology controls so much of the city, isn't it?